Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, today I'm here to give you my WWE Elimination Chamber preview and predictions. And I decided to do it today on Friday instead of Saturday. So, uh, yeah, happy Friday, people. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into the preview and predictions, guys, because this could take a while. Depending on how long I talk about each thing, because I want to give my honest opinion about this stuff. Depending on how long it takes, I might make two parts to this video. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste this much time. Let's just get right into it, so... For Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Ryback and Curtis Axel as the kickoff match. Now, this is before the pay-per-view. This is on YouTube and all that good shit. Uh, to tell you guys the truth, I really don't know why or what's going on with Cody Rhodes and Goldust. It seems like as if they're not getting pushed anymore by the WWE. I mean, look at this. They're facing fucking Ryback and Curtis Axel on a pay-per-view. I mean, they, they deserve better than this, I think. But, I mean, nothing really much that you can do about that. But, uh... I think Cody Rhodes and Goldust will win, but uh, I guess we'll find out if the WWE is burying them or not. I don't know. And then I don't even know why this is on the card. And I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking on my computer, at uh, I'm looking on WWE.com on the Elimination Chamber page to find out the preview and prediction matches. So I just know that just just so I know each match. So if I'm not looking at, at this fan, I'm looking here. So. Again, as I was saying, I don't know why Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil is on the pay-per-view card. That seems like a like a bathroom break match to me. I mean, honestly, do you guys give a fuck about this match? Because I don't give a fuck about it. Excuse my my language, but I really don't give a shit for Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil. So, moving on. Another one that I don't really care much about is the Intercontinental Championship match between Big E versus Jack Swagger. I think that Big E will retain... His intercontinental title belt. It'll be a pro. It might be an okay match, but uh, we'll find out. And um, oh yeah, for Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil, I really don't give a shit who wins that. So I'm not even gonna predict who will win that one. But I think for the intercontinental championship match between Big E and Jack Swagger, I think Big E will retain. And then, so I'm gonna go through all the bullshit stuff first. So that was one of the bullshit things. The kickoff match is a bullshit. Let's get to another thing. Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. This has got to be the dumbest match the WWE could have made. It's already over. I mean, who honestly thinks that Alberto Del Rio is going to stand a chance against Batista? I hope this match doesn't last longer than five minutes, I hope. Five to ten minutes at, at most, because, I mean, it's just taking up pay-per-view time. I mean, listen, I mean, who... I mean, this, this feud with Alberto Del Rio and Batista ended... Two weeks ago, when Batista powerbombed Alberto Alberto Del Rio, I mean, I don't know. This this is just to give Batista something to do to do for the pay per view because he doesn't have shit to do. But I mean, it's just a dumb match in my opinion. But uh, either way, uh, I'm sure Batista will destroy Alberto Del Rio in like five to ten minutes. So I'm not gonna bitch about it too much. But I mean, yeah. So Batista will win that. Um, then for the WWE Tag Team Champions. We have the New Age Outlaws as the champions versus the Usos, and um, I think this could go either way. I don't really see the New Age Outlaws as the WWE Tag Team Champions for very long. I think the Usos will win eventually. Um, I don't know if they'll win this one or not. They might, but I, 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 the Usos have been on a winning streak, and whenever you're on a winning streak going into a pay-per-view, that usually means that, that they're going to lose. Whoever loses the most before a pay-per-view, it's pretty obvious that, that that he'll win. It's just the it's just WWE logic right there. But um, I I think I'm gonna go with the Usos to win this match, but I could be wrong. I mean, I'm okay, this is just my opinion about this stuff. Um, so yeah. Now this is one match I really want to look that I'm really looking forward to, and that's the Shield versus the Wyatt family. This is gonna be a hell of a good match. Um, I mean, I, I'm predicting that this will be match of the night easily. I mean, the Wyatt family is great. The the Shield is great. It's it's, it's just too bad that the Shield is breaking up. Um, and that's what I'm going to go to. Now, see, what I was thinking about before this is... I was thinking that the Shield could actually win this match. But then I thought to myself, and from listening to other commentators on YouTube, it sounds like they're going to have the three members of the Shield in a triple threat match at WrestleMania... Which may or may not be good, but, uh, I mean, if they do have a triple threat at WrestleMania between, uh, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins, it's pretty obvious that Roman Reigns is gonna win that match. 
Because, I mean, he's getting pushed right now, like, ridiculously a lot, so... Uh, it would be pretty obvious that Roman Reigns would win that. Um, so, to me, it, I'm going to go with the Wyatt family to win this match. Because the Shield is going to break up at the Elimination Chamber, I'm afraid. I'm ho I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Because I, what I want to see is this. I would like to see the Shield win against the Wyatt family. But just barely. And then start to have Seth... And then just start to have Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose get in each other's faces over jealousy and all that bullshit. Then this is what I would do. At WrestleMania, I would have the Shield versus the Wyatt family again. And then I would have the Shield break up at WrestleMania. Can you imagine how big that would be? That would be a great WrestleMania moment, but I don't think it'll happen. I think the Wyatt family is going to win with the Shield breaking up. And then the Wyatt family will face John Cena or, or someone else at WrestleMania. But either way, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the Shield versus the Wyatt family, but I'm going with the Wyatt family to win that match. And then, hang on, guys, I'm going to get some water here. And also, in case you guys didn't know, the Elimination Chamber is actually one of my favorite WWE pay-per-views. I just like the concept of it. I like the whole chamber idea of being stuck in six pods, or four pods, or no. Yeah, four pods, and then every minute or three minutes or something like that, somebody gets into the match. And then it can turn into a triple threat, a fatal four-way, all that stuff. I mean, they, they really have had good Elimination Chamber matches in the past. Um... Some people might think that it's predictable. I don't I don't think it's really that predictable. I actually really like the Elimination Chamber match. In fact, I like it slightly better than than the Royal Rumble. Uh, so, yeah, the Elimination Chamber is one of my favorite pay-per-views. But uh, the Royal Rumble, though, is also a close second. Although this Royal Rumble this year sucked ass. But um, for this match, for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, inside the Elimination Chamber, we have Sheamus... Christian, Randy Orton as the champion, John Cena, Antonio Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan. So I already know who's not going to win this match. Christian is not going to win this match. Antonio Cesaro is not going to win this match. I think either Cesaro or Christian are going to get eliminated first. Sheamus is not going to win this match either. Sheamus is not going to win. There's really no need for him to win this match. I think the final three in the Elimination Chamber will be Randy Orton, John Cena, and Daniel Bryan. That's who I think is going to be the final three. I heard some people talk about an interesting storyline where Brock Lesnar could force his way into the Elimination Chamber and win the and win the WWE Championship, which would be pretty cool. Because, I mean, I know Brock Lesnar wants to fight for the title, but it's not going to be right now. I don't think, I don't think Brock Lesnar will get involved in the Elimination Chamber match. Because Brock Lesnar is going to face The Undertaker at WrestleMania, I think. I mean, I know people have been talking about The Undertaker versus Sting, but I don't see Undertaker versus Sting happening right now. I see Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker, but we'll just see where, where, where they go with that. But um, either way, I think the final three in the Elimination Chamber will be Randy Orton versus John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. And as much as I would like Daniel Bryan to win this match, I mean, I, for one, have been thinking Daniel Bryan might win this match. Because, I mean, he's been pushed a lot lately. He hasn't really been pushed. But, I mean, everyone's backing him up. Everyone wants him to be the champion. Daniel Bryan should have won at the Royal Rumble, not Batista. Um, and, you know, that's another thing I want to get to is I know... I mean, I, for one, was not happy with Daniel Bryan not winning at the Royal Rumble. I thought Daniel Bryan should have won at the Royal Rumble, not Batista. But you guys have to think about it this way. Even though Batista did not deserve to win the Royal Rumble, he's a part-timer. He's not as young as Daniel Bryan is. So they wanted to get, so the reason why they wanted Batista to be number 28 and just eliminate a few people and go to WrestleMania is because it's the easiest way for him to, to get to WrestleMania. Do I agree with the decision? No. But I, un, but I kind of understand why they would do that. Because Daniel Bryan can go through a lot more, he can endure a lot more pain, he's younger, he's probably healthier, I don't know. But Well, I don't know how about healthier, but... um. So, as much as I would love to see Daniel Bryan win at the Elimination Chamber and see the crowd and see 18,000 people chant yes, sadly, I think Randy Orton will win. Randy Orton's going to win this damn match, and we're going to see Randy Orton versus Batista at WrestleMania for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which will be a snore fest. It's going to be a fucking terrible match. But, I could be wrong. Daniel Bryan could 
win this match, but Randy Orton has been losing a lot of matches lately. He has lost to Sheamus. He has lost to Daniel Bryan. He's lost to John Cena. Well, I don't know if he's lost. He's lost to uh, Antonio Cesaro. I don't see Randy Orton losing again. I think he's in a headline WrestleMania against Batista, but hopefully they have Daniel Bryan inserted in the match, and then we have a triple threat between Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, and Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania in the main event, and then have Daniel Bryan win or something like that. But as much as I would love to see Daniel Bryan win, I don't think he will. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Daniel Bryan overcomes all the odds, wins the Elimination Chamber, goes on to WrestleMania, fights Batista, defeat Batista at WrestleMania, hear 80,000 people chant yes, then have a rematch with Batista, and maybe have Brock Lesnar in there somewhere, but... Sadly, I see Randy Orton winning this match, but, um... Yeah, I think that's all gonna do it for today, guys. I thought this video would be much longer, by my opinions, but, uh... Yeah, let me just go through them again. For Batista versus Alberto Del Rio, Batista's gonna destroy Del Rio... For the Shield versus the White Family, the White Family is going to win with the Shield breaking up. With uh, the kickoff match between Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Ryback and Curtis Axel, the Rhodes Family is going to win. With the Tag Team Championship, the New Age Outlaws versus the Usos, I think the Usos are going to win. For Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil, I really don't give a fuck. I don't even want. To, I don't even fucking care who wins that match. And for Big E versus Jack Swagger, I see Big E retaining his title. And for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Inside the Elimination Chamber, I think Randy Orton, Randy Orton will, will retain. But my second choice to win this match, if Randy Orton doesn't win, is Daniel Bryan. I hope it's Daniel Bryan. Let's find out. But uh, hopefully the Elimination Chamber is good. I hope it is, because, I mean, the Elimination Chamber is one of my favorite pay-per-views next to the Royal Rumble. And since the Royal Rumble sucked, I hope the Elimination Chamber is good. But, uh, yeah, let's find out. Um, and that's going to do it for this video, guys. Like my video, comment on my video, subscribe if you want to, and uh, yeah, peace out guys, happy, happy Friday.